Hey guys, it's Saturday and I'm out here kind of actually a nice day. It's, it's actually t-shirt weather in January, which makes it kind of nice. I'm out here at my friend Billy B's shop. I had to do a little pinstriping and lettering for him. And I uh, thought I would set the cameras up, run around and show you uh, some of the things he gets to work on and not get to work on. So let's go back inside and check some of the stuff out. Now this here is a 69 Camaro funny car body I was working on yesterday. I was uh, pinstriping each side of the uh, the rally stripes in blue. I don't know if they'll show up or not. Let's see if you can actually see them. Yeah, there they are. And then Bob Thompson was working on the lettering. Airbrush work on this car is by uh, Kenny Youngblood, who's pretty much pretty much a legend in the hot rod world all right here's a couple of boat projects that are going together right now that he's uh he's got stuff laid out to, to paint on there and i think those are going together here in the next couple of weeks got some pinstriping on these seats that are sitting inside of here trying to make them match old old paint stuff but it came out pretty pretty cool there's another one He's got going together here. Not really sure what colors are going on it, but knowing Billy, it will be uh, it'll be pretty amazing. Gotta love the paint bench. Always something cool going on. All right, now we're gonna walk into the booth. Now this. This is a this is a really nice nice paint job here. Nice, really nice laid out. The, I know the fades are kind of hard to see in uh, in the video because the camera kind of kind of chops them up. But I'm gonna pinstripe this thing. I don't know, probably in another week. He's gonna do a put a little clear on it so I got something to work with, and then I will put lines all over this thing. So give you an idea. I think it'd be gorgeous, and it'll be fast. I'll have to see if I can find a picture of this race car, but uh, this is a car he did about 15 years ago, and it actually won uh, best appearing at the NHRA Winter Nationals, which was, oh, sad to say, one of my uh, was one of my bucket list items I wanted to get done, and it was close a couple of times, just didn't get to pull it off. Billy was fortunate enough. To pull it off, it's in here for uh, for a touch-up. You can see where it got smacked up front and kind of beat the paint up, so it's uh, it's going to get patched up. Be good as new. There's a picture of Billy in his uh, in his boat making a pass. It's been some years ago. He's uh, taken it all down, stripped the paint off, changed engines and the thing. So I think everybody's kind of excited to see what's going to happen next. I'm sure it's going to be a monster. He's also got some really cool shirts done. I'm digging them. Here's the other side of this big boat he's working on. What's kind of cool is the paint was uh, split down the middle. So it's black on one side and red on the other. So he's going to flip flop the graphics. Which is going to be really cool. I'm kind of excited to see how this thing's going to look all done. Big, big boat, big project. All right, I'm in his office. Here's uh, here's a picture of him and one of his goofy buddies. They're fishing off their uh, off their race boat. You gotta love that. Here's another another car he was involved in, an old top fuel deal. Gotta love that. Now I got too much reflections here, but here's a old paint job he did. Here's a magazine article from uh, one of his. Well, that's his old boat. Kind of cool. Another shot of him at speed. I think it's fast. It's, I don't know, I think it's close to 150 mile an hour boat. Another shot of him standing on it. Gotta love that. Now he's got some really cool stuff in his office. Now here is a little drawing by David Peters. Another one of his paint jobs. Another really cool drawing here. 
Here's kind of a, uh, I don't know, this makes me sad seeing this, but uh, this, is, uh, this is a good friend of ours. This was a uh, guy named Mike Fry who dominated in the alcohol hydro, uh, hydro class. He was, he was pretty much unstoppable. And uh, sadly, he died a couple of years ago. And uh, this is some of his stuff. All right, here's a boat that Billy did. Look at the back here. Kind of cool. Kind of a little tag team effort between uh, an airbrush friend of mine, Yvonne, and myself. She did the uh, all the paintwork, and then I did the lettering in there. Absolutely beautiful boat. Show the inside of this thing a little bit. This thing is, this thing just glows. Now this boat here, he did some years ago, and people still freak out over this. And the video doesn't even do it justice. <laughs> this thing is just badass. Gotta love Crower injectors. It's like my favorite thing ever. So yeah. Old but still gets lots and lots of attention. Now this boat here is for sale. I hadn't seen this one before. We just took the cover off it and like, all right, I always dig wood deck boats just because there's just kind of an old school coolness about them. Uh, very slick. It's just a very clean, very clean boat. Old Sanger. I dig it. So yes, I get to see really cool stuff. This is this is no, and I know I use the word stuff a lot, but I, there are so many different <laughs> different things I get to look at. I don't even know what else to call it. Some old tire covers from years and years ago. I'm not sure who did the one on the far end. I know. Uh, I know my friend Tom Clark did this one. He's a sign guy down at Knott's Berry Farm. Very talented guy. The chicken mascot, well, I am not saying anything about that. That will be, uh, that will be unveiled at a later date. Yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It glows out in the sun. Another one of those pieces I had to pinstripe yesterday. This is an old, an old boat scheme that he had to match up. Uh, had to match it up to the old scoop and then uh, the two seat covers that were in the back. All right, this boat here is is uh, belongs to a guy named Ryan Heiser. And what's really awesome about this this whole thing here is it was kind of like uh, kind of like a well-known TV show where they would uh, take somebody's vehicle and then fix it all up and give it back to them without their knowledge. So uh, this was kind of that same deal. It was his his boss decided to do something for him, and and uh, this thing was supposed to be in storage, and it got kidnapped and. Uh, a friend of ours, Rick, he went through the engine. He put a put a complete badass motor together for the thing. Billy painted it. I striped it and lettered it. Got uh, all the lettering is all in in copper leaf. And this thing, it's really stupid fast. So awesome deal. This one here, this one's just a factory boat, and uh, it's a Nordic deal. And um, colors don't really do much for me. It's not really my style. Just a factory thing. But the boat is just 
<laughs> badass. Um, it's kind of deep, so it's uh, it's pretty good for rough water, but it's uh, it's a full on full on little race setup. Twin turbo big block Chevy, making some some serious steamage. So uh, if you want to do you know well over 100 mile an hour on the rough stuff, this is this is the boat. This is pretty badass. So there you go. One of the cool projects I get to uh, take a look at when I'm out when I'm out doing doing what I do. All right, guys. Well, today uh, I get to see some really cool stuff. Show you a little bit of some of the things I get to be involved in. Uh, I want to thank Billy again for letting me work with him all these uh, all these years. So thank you, sir, very much. You're welcome. It's been a lot of fun, except for when you always want to bust my balls on everything. And of course, I'm such a nice guy. Back. That's that's right. That's right. You showed a lot. Anyway, so it's always been a good time. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate all your work. All right, sir. Thank you.